Hey everybody, here we are talking about mindset, right? And so I've given you guys and, and said to you some of the most important things in building a, a predictable, duplicatable business are prospecting, daily schedule, building your numbers. But quite honestly, everybody, I really think mindset is an integral part of that too. Because what's happening in your mind that like, you know, one of my mentors used to tell me, the drunk monkey up there tells you, Dylan, you're not good enough. Dylan, you're not smart enough. Dylan, you can't do this. You can't achieve this on your own. There's no way you're gonna go from 20 deals to 50 deals, right? And so you guys get what it is that you focus on. That's the strange thing about life, is it not? You get what you focus on, guys. The law of attraction is a real thing. Right? And so if I'm focused, I'll give you an example. If I'm in the market to buy a new car, let's say it's a blue Ford Mustang, what do I start to see everywhere? A blue Ford Mustang, right? Because your mind's eye is now open to it. The law of attraction is real. If I'm focused and telling myself, this seller will never accept my contract, then guess what? They're not going to ever accept your contract. But if you have an unwavering commitment in your mind, yeah, why would they not accept my contract? It's the best offer on the face of the earth. And you guys are really convinced of that. You're gonna do everything it takes to make it happen. You're gonna move the way you need to move. You're gonna talk the way you need to talk, right? You guys are gonna make it happen, right? If you're in a stressful situation, let me give you an example. Let's say you needed to, well, most of you guys could take a 20 foot plank and put it on the floor, a board. And you could walk across that board 20 feet, no problem. But if you put that board up 100 feet in the air, right, would you walk across that plank? Absolutely not, right? Now, if you added a little bit of motivation to it, let's say that plank was 100 feet in the air and it was connected to a burning building and your best friend or your family member are in that burning building and the only way to save them Sure success, you're gonna save them, is to now walk across that 20 foot plank that you very easily do when it's laying on the floor. Would you do it? Absolutely, right? But what is that? What's occurring there? It's all in your mind, is it not? So mindset is gonna be the difference of whether you guys do this course and you decide to give up short of your first deal or short of whatever your goals are. If you can control your mind, guys, this, this fascinates me, really. As I started to progress in business, mindset becomes very, very fascinating because you realize the difference between you making $100,000 a deal a year, a million dollars a year, a billion dollars in your lifetime is this. That's the difference in how you look at things, how you think about things, right? Your mind can tell you, boom, I need automatic energy. Give me energy. It comes from your mind. Your mind could say, oh man, I feel tired, right? You guys get what I'm saying here. So this is really essential for you guys and I wanna share some tips with you, okay? So some tips on mindset. You know, we talked about you get what you focus on. If you are focused on the seller's never gonna accept your offer or you focused on, man, I could never do 100 deals in a year or you're focused on, man, I, you know, I'm not gonna get five walkthroughs, then that's exactly what's gonna happen to you. Just the same as if you focus on, yes, I can do that. That's what's gonna happen to you guys and you have to maintain that conviction in your mind. Your mind's a weird thing. It will give you whatever you want, good or bad, whatever you're focused on. Keep that in mind, guys. Keep focused on your big why. When we talk about a strong mindset, one of the things we do with our coaching clients, and you guys have heard me talk about it in this video elsewhere, is be focused and define your big why. Because if the reason why you're doing this is not big enough, you're going to give up. If you look at the most successful people on the face of the earth, they're doing what they're incredibly passionate about. And so despite all odds, despite all challenges despite all times getting kicked down right and, and thinking it's never going to work out that big why is what's going to push you through it and if you're thinking to yourself you need to define your why and you don't have any emotions attached to it it doesn't make you want to jump out of your chair and get started it doesn't make you just super super excited emotionally if you can't feel it your why is not big enough you guys need to go deeper you need to define something even bigger what affects you emotionally how excited are you getting and if you're not getting excited over your goals they're not big enough okay think bigger guys so keep your big why keep your goal in front of you print it out put it on your desk if you have to on your monitor you guys should put in place a strong daily mindset plan and I've given you some tips on that so these are some things that I do on a daily basis so on a daily basis I do some meditation 
right? And I do. There's so much going on in my life. I actually do just mindfulness meditation. There's different forms of meditation, but I just do mindfulness and I just stop thinking and I stop thinking about what's going on and I just focus on being in the present to just kind of reset, right? And so I actually do that several times a day, two to three times a day. Gratitude journal is incredibly strong. I got to tell you, when it comes to mindset, that's the number one thing that I think will get most people through some of the toughest stuff, right? And so every day I sit down, I set an alarm on my phone at 10.30 at night and I write down five things that I'm thankful for. It can be five things that happened to me. It could be as simple as I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful that I have both arms, right? I'm thankful for heat. I'm thankful for clean water. I'm thankful for this deal that came into my life. I'm thankful for my wife. I'm thankful for my kids, whatever it is. Gratitude is an incredibly powerful thing when it comes to having a strong mindset. You could end your day, have the worst day of your life and sit down and say, I'm thankful for the fact that I can turn on my water and it's not filthy. I'm thankful for the fact that I can go to my house, it's negative four degrees outside and I have heat, right? And it starts to make that day that was bad look insignificant, does it not? Guys, we're in a civilized world. What we think is bad and disastrous, the world in general is facing much, much tougher challenges, guys. I promise you, okay? Be thankful for what it is that you have. Gratitude is a very powerful thing. I listen to a lot of different audios and videos and podcasts on mindset. I'm sure you guys can find them. They're abundant across YouTube. You could use your iPhone to do podcasts, whatever it is, right? So get yourself some mindset audios. Right? People like Jim Rohn is a guy who I used to follow all the time. He's fantastic right, with the mindset type of stuff. People like Darren Hardy, the publisher of Success Magazine guys, be listening to their stuff. Okay, When it comes to mindset, I have a mindset coach and he has content that I'm telling you is like top-notch stuff. His name's Matthew Ferry and I highly, highly recommend him. He is the master when it comes to mindset stuff. Right, So you guys can Google him, find him, subscribe to his stuff. He's going to help you. He helps me significantly on making sure that my mindset is always in check. Okay, And then you can do things like affirmations, telling yourself, I am going to become a millionaire. I am going to make $100,000 this year. I am going to get my next deal. I am a strong salesperson. I am a great real estate investor. Affirmations, write them out and repeat them to yourselves. Right? The words, I am, are incredibly powerful. I do what's known as an I am meditation. You can probably find it on YouTube every single day of my life. And I visualize, guys, visualize is incredibly powerful. I'll say to myself, I am going to raise this amount of capital. And I visualize it. I see it happening. I am going to get this contract accepted. I visualize it in my mind and I see it happening and I start to feel the emotions attached to it. That's key here, guys. Start to feel the emotions attached to what it is that you're visualizing, right? So start to say some affirmations to yourself. Here's another tip. Surround yourself by like-minded individuals. They say that you are the product of the top five people you spend the most time with. And so one of the things that I learned very early on is that if I wanted to make $100,000 a year, I would start hanging around people that are making $100,000 a year. And you're going to naturally be lifted up to that mindset and your income is going to raise and match theirs. If you're hanging around people that are making $30,000 a year, guys, they have a different mindset. And you're going to stay there, okay? So one thing I did very early on, I was just trying to make my first $100,000 in real estate is, boom, friends, you got to go, right? Because you're not helping me on my path. You're not helping me on my mission, right? You're just gossiping and talking about how bad your work day was, right? I don't have time for that. And so when you upgrade your circle and you start hanging around people that are making $100,000 a year, there's none of that, guys. There's no gossip. It's all business focused. It's all business orientated. People are committed to working and doing better. And that's all the conversation is. And so take a look around. Who are you hanging around right now? And are they taking you forward towards your goals? Are they holding you back like an anchor dragging through the sand? And if they're that anchor dragging through the fan, they got to go. They got to go. Right? This isn't a popularity contest. This is, you guys have real focus, real goals, real dream, uh, you know, real dreams that you're trying to achieve. So let's do it already. 
And those people will hold you back. They honestly will. And so think about upgrading your circle. If you want to make a million dollars a year, start hanging around people making a million dollars a year. If you want to be a billionaire, start hanging around billionaires. And if you can't find billionaires, read the books that they write. Listen to their speech, listen to their speeches, right? And start adapting and thinking and acting like a billionaire would act, a millionaire would act, a six-figure person would act. Okay? Very strong stuff here. Control your well, if you control your mind, you can control your set success, honestly, right? We already kind of talked about that. You guys, you have to guard your mindset like the world is filled with the plague. You really do, right? And so you have to protect yourself at all times from this onslaught of the any, just get rid of your TVs. Do yourself a favor, rip your TVs out from your house and throw them in the trash, guys, because anytime you turn on a TV show or the news or whatever it is, it's filled with nothing encouraging. It's all negative despair type of stuff, right? And so the next number thing, next thing you can do outside of, you know, gratitude. So number two is get rid of negative news, negative media, right? And people say, well, how am I going to stay up to date with what's happening in the world? Look, the only thing you should be concerned with staying up to date is, is what's happening in real estate. Not what's happening in Iraq, not what's happening in Iran, that's what's happening with this president or that president or Gossip Girl or or Khloe Kardashian or whatever it is, guys. The only thing you should be concerned staying up to date with is what's happening in your space. That's it. If the world's going to end tomorrow, I'm sure the people around me are going to tell me about it. I don't need to know. So unplug the news. Unplug from the negative media. That is going to, if I had a glass of clear water right here right now, the media would be oil. I'd be pouring into it, and that glass, which is your mind, would be filling up, and it would look black with junk and dirt. Now, what can I do to to correct that? I can take a glass of clear water. In this case, it could be a glass of positivity. So instead of listening to negative news and media, I have this glass of positivity, positive cod podcast, positive books, positive audio, and I can start to pour it in there and that glass is going gonna, is gonna to flush itself out, right? And so you guys have to do that when we talk about mindset. Start to flush your mind out by pouring in positivity and clear that glass up. So that means getting rid of negative news, negative media. Here's one we're all obsessed with, right? Here's one we're all obsessed with is Social media, Facebook, let's use that for example. I had a coach tell me one time a very profound thing about social media, and I looked through my Facebook feed, and I had my so-called you know, friends on there, right? And it was negative, 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 negative. What's happening in the world? What's happening in the world? I hit delete. I don't have a personal Facebook account. Now I just have a public Facebook account, right, where I can post positive stuff, right? And on my feed... On my Facebook feed, since I don't have friends, I've subscribed to positive, um, positive, you know, Facebook pages that are saying things about positive things, right? Mindset, business, that type of stuff, right? And so you guys may consider if you're going through your Facebook feed, unsubscribing from the people that are filled with drama or just deleting your entire friends list like I did, right? Just get rid of it, guys. Just get rid of it, Okay. Take away the options. Fill your social media feeds with positive type of stuff. Here, you want to fill your your social media stuff with positive stuff, go subscribe to my Facebook page, at Dylan S. Borland. There you have it, right? You're going to see nothing but positive information. Things are going to actually help you on your journey to success. Okay? We talked about changing your circle. The other thing you can do is always be reading, self-help stuff. The best investment you can ever make is an investment in yourself because you guys could lose everything tomorrow, right? This whole real estate empire could come crashing down, but you're not going to lose what you learned. And that's what's important there. And you'll hear, hear billionaires say that. And that's why they take such big risk. And that's why they're at because they don't care about losing everything because they have not lost what's in their mind. And so the best investment you guys can ever make is an investment in yourself because you guys will be able to build it right back up even stronger from where you left off, okay? We talk about removing your ego when it comes to mindset, removing your opinion, right? Removing your opinion of things and how things should be. Matthew Ferry talks about this stuff all the time, right? 
removing that I have to know everything, right? Get rid of that. Most of our stress in life is, is, is caused by how we have an opinion on something. That person should not have acted that way. You know, this seller's an idiot, right? Whatever it is, remove that, guys. Remove your ego from the, from the equation and just simply be focused on the other person's needs and understand that you are not the controller, you are not the ruler of the universe, you don't know everything, right? You walk out a door and a person doesn't hold the door for you and you say, well, that was rude, but that, you know what? that person is not expected to hold the door open for you, so why are you getting mad at them for not doing it, right? So remove your expectations, remove your expectations, Work hard to start to remove that ego because our ego sometimes is our own worst enemy. It gets us in more trouble than it does good. And if you really start to see the ego for what it is, it's just a survival mechanism. Your ego is in place to make sure you survive. The only challenge is is we're not in a world where anybody is attacking us and causing us physical harm. And if, God forbid, that does happen to you, your body and your natural sense will take over and help you. It's called fight or flight, right? So start to remove it. And so when somebody's arguing you with on the phone, the first thing you want to do is you want to get defensive and start attacking them, right? But you're in no physical danger, but that's your body just reacting to that situation to try to protect you, but it doesn't need to, right? And so just stay calm and just... And just Listen, don't try to attack and, and, and make the situation worse than it is. Listen to it, ponder it, and say, you know what? Let's focus on the solution instead of the problem, right? I think I put that on here somewhere. Focus on the solution instead of the problem. That's another mindset tip, right? So we talked about remove your ego. We talked about the power of visual, visualization. A couple other things I want to wrap up with here is you know, consider this, guys. There was a story, I think I wrote it on my LinkedIn site. Uh, I was told it a long time ago. It's a story of crabs and how they catch crabs. There's a species of crabs that they don't need a lid on the basket, right? And the reason for that is, is because, so the crabs will crawl in and you would think there would be a lid and so that they'd stop them from crawling back out. Well, what happens is this particular crab, every time another crab crawls out of the basket, the other crabs will pull him down. And if he tries to crawl out again, the other crabs might rip his arm off. All the way to the point if this crab keeps trying to crawl out, then they will actually kill the crab, guys. And so guess what? You're now becoming an entrepreneur. You are going against the vast majority of society. You are that crab who is trying to crawl out of the basket. And the other crabs are going to try to bring you down. And so you guys have to be aware of that and you have to be conscious of that. And that's why I say change your circle. Don't let those crabs bring you down. Eventually, they're going to end up killing you. You're never going to be, in this case, it's going to be killing your goals and your dreams. It's going to be things that you guys can achieve, but you're not going to achieve them because the other crabs are bringing you down. So get rid of the crabs. Okay? The last thing I want to tell you about mindset, I am a firm believer that your diet has a lot to do with how you feel every single day. So I'm going to tell you guys a a good portion of of mindset is focusing on your health. What are you eating, right? And exercise. When you exercise, you feel good. You get all these endorphins that are running through your body, right? And so regular exercise, be focused on eating a nice, healthy diet that supports the goals that you want to achieve. I always tell people, focus on eating living foods. If you want to feel alive, then you need to eat foods that are alive. They're going to help you stay energized and feel alive and full of life, right? So diet is a very big part of it, guys, uh, when it comes to mindset. And there are foods out there that are full of chemicals that will actually make you sad and depressed. Things like drinking alcohol. Alcohol is a depressant. So if you're going through a tough time and you're drinking alcohol, you're only making it worse, right? It's a depressant. So start to be aware of that. Start to be conscious of that because all of that affects your mood, Okay, so hopefully you guys got a few tips here. Mindset is critical in in building a business, especially for an entrepreneur. Take a lot of this stuff and expand on it, and we will see you in the next video.